close your eyes, and try to be friendly with your breath. Think about what's involved in making friends with a person. You have to observe the person, and as the Buddha said, in a, times of hardship, in times of ease, in times when you have dealings or when that person has dealings with other people. And it takes time, and you have to be observant. Well, the same principles apply to getting to know your breath. If you want to find out what kind of breathing is good for the body, you have to watch for periods of time. Sometimes it's obvious and immediate, sometimes it's not. Sometimes you try all kinds of ways of breathing and nothing seems comfortable at all. That's when you have to be patient by keeping in mind that this friendship is something that's worth developing, and you want to learn about the breath instead of imposing your ideas of breath on it. That requires that you watch. You watch the breath in times of hardship. In other words, where the body is sick, you watch it when the body is well. And you ask a few questions here and there to figure out what ways of breathing might be better, or what the body needs right now, what the breath needs right now. But the mind has to be extremely patient and willing to give. If all you can think about is what you want out of the breath, then it's just like the kind of friendship where you just want to take, take, take from the other person, or impose your ideas on the other person, without giving the other person room to show what he or she knows, he or she needs. That kind of friendship never lasts. It's the kind of friendship where you are patient and listen and watch and are willing to put out some effort to take into consideration what the other side needs. That's when you're really going to learn how to be friends with the breath. And then when you're friends, as John Lee likes to say, you, wherever you go, you've got a friend. You're never lonely. You can talk to the friend, ask questions, have conversations. and. As you're traveling together, the journey doesn't seem long. So it takes some time to get to really know your breath, be in harmony with the breath, see what it needs, and you'll find that it can provide for you with what you need. But you've got to give first. <laughs>